Let's factor the equation x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And what we'll do first, we need to get a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation up here. So once we have that, we can add the signs into the skeleton equation. I see I have a negative and a negative here in this equation. So negative middle term and last term negative. We're going to put a positive and a negative in our skeleton equation. Once we've done that, we can find the factors for that last term, that negative 12, and they should add up to the middle term, negative 4. So here are the factors for 12. So as I look at the factors for 12, 2 times 6, that gives me 12, and the distance between 2 and 6, that's 4. So I think this is what I'm going to work with. The question is, do I put the 2 or the 6 here? Well, since I want the 12 to be negative, I'm going to put the bigger number here, 6 and then 2. That way I'll have x times negative 6, negative 6x, and then 2 times x is 2x. So that'll give me that negative 4x. Let's check our work with the FOIL method. We multiply the first, outside, inside, and last. We end up with... And when we combine negative 6 and 2x, we get negative 4x. So that's good. Here's our 12x, and we have x squared. So this is the same thing we started with. We correctly factored x squared minus 4x minus 12. Let's find the values for x. When we put them in the equation, it'll make this side equal to 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we can say x plus 2 equals 0. Add a negative 2 to both sides. x equals a negative 2. Over here, x minus 6. That equals 0. Add 6 to both sides. x equals a positive 6. So if you put 6 in for x here and you do the math, this entire side will equal 0. Likewise, if you put negative 2 in for x and do the math, this will all equal 0. And if you use the quadratic equation, you're going to get these same numbers here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 4x minus 12. Thanks for watching.